One of the biggest news stories of the past week is that Bernie Sanders, independent senator from Vermont, has announced that he is going to run for president as a Democrat, uh, effectively challenging Hillary Clinton for the Democratic nomination. Now, what this means is that finally, in this entire clown car of presidential candidates that we've seen from Rubio, uh, Rand Paul, Hillary Clinton, we and Ted Cruz, we finally have a candidate out there who actually cares about the American people. Bernie Sanders has been out there for many, many years talking about issues that affect each and every one of us. He talks about income inequality. He talks about pay inequality. He talks about uh, uh, the right to marriage. Everything that is important, not for millionaires and billionaires, but for the middle class, for the average working American. And this is a huge step forward for America. I, I, I really think that the Bernie Sanders candidacy, whether or not he succeeds in getting the nomination, he could still pull the other candidates like Hillary Clinton a little bit further to the left. And if you've been paying attention to some of the pundits out there, you'll notice that Hillary Clinton is starting to sound a little bit more like a populist. She's trying to co-opt the Elizabeth Warren message or the Bernie Sanders message that we have to do something about these Wall Street banks that are uh, screwing over consumers and taking all their monies and uh, money and doing all these illegal schemes. But when you drill past her talking points, you can can see the money behind Hillary Clinton. When she ran for Senate, her top donor was Wall Street. Plain and simple. That is where her money came from. That's where her money is going to come from in this campaign. There's no reason that we should believe her new populist message because it is a new populist message. This is not the Hillary Clinton that we saw four years ago. It's not the Hillary Clinton that we saw eight years ago. This is a brand new and improved, focused, tried Hillary Clinton. It's, it's, it's along the lines of what we saw with President Obama when he came out on the campaign trail in 2008. All these big messages about hope and change, reigning in corporate greed, ruling for the people, and then he gets into office one of the first things he does is re-extends the Bush tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires. He backed down from every fight the Republicans brought to him. And here we are, six years later, in virtually the same position that we were when he was campaigning. Obviously, some things in many regards have gotten better. We did get the Affordable Care Act. Uh, didn't quite go far enough again because he backed down from the Republican challengers. But it's a good start. So Obama's done a few, a few really good things, but uh, overall, it was all talk. And that's what we would get from Hillary Clinton. But that is not what we would get from a Bernie Sanders, because these aren't talking points for somebody like Bernie Sanders. He has been out there saying these same things for decades. He means it. He understands it. He lives it. He knows it. Bernie Sanders is the real deal. And that's why his candidacy is so important.